Hi there, welcome to the Tiny Prius Kitchen Appliance Reviews. Hi everyone, today we're in the kitchen and I'm going to talk about several different products because there are different options that you might want to use in your car when you're out camping. And um, first, I'm going to talk about the two um, power boxes that I have. One is the EcoFlow River 600 and the other is the Rock Pals 300 watt. As I've explained on some other videos, there's a difference between the capacity of power that a power bank can produce and the wattage that it can output at one time. The Rock Pals 300 has 280 watt hours battery capacity. That means if you are running something that was 100 watts drawn at a time, it would run for 2.8 hours. The new generation of the Rock Pals battery bank is also 280 watt hours for a 300 watt battery bank. The EcoFlow River 600 is 288 watt hours, so it's basically the exact capacity, but it lets you add a second battery that doubles that battery capacity. The difference is that you can draw 600 watts from the EcoFlow and you can only draw 300 watts from the Rock Pals. As you can see, the two items are a really different size and that's because the EcoFlow has a lot more electronics into it. It has a bigger fan. I'm not sure what else is in there. One of the cool things about the EcoFlow, which is why I think it's also considerably more expensive, is that not only does it let you draw 600 watts at a time, you can actually use a feature called X-Boost that lets you use appliances that draw a higher wattage than 600 watts and it just lowers them so that they draw less wattage. You can't do it with everything. For example, I wouldn't try it with a hair dryer, but you can try it with something like a kettle or a cooktop. It just won't provide you the normal amount of power that that appliance gives you when you plug it into the wall. I've also talked about my kettles before, um, but today we're looking and comparing the Laudi 2 kettle, which is a collapsible kettle, and the Liddy kettle, which is a thermos. When you open it, it looks like this. You get a thermos top, and a mug. And the inside of the kettle is all stainless steel. When you expand the Laudi 2O, the handle um, comes off and you put it on the side. The Liddy kettle has no handle, but it doesn't get hot on the outside either. The Liddy kettle fits about 10 ounces and the Laudi 2O fits about 14. The Liddy Kettle draws 300 watts and the Laudi 2O draws 700 watts. Because of that wattage, I wouldn't be able to use the Laudi 2O with the Rock Pals, but the Liddy Kettle can be used with the Rock Pals or with the EcoFlow. Both kettles have 8 ounces of water in them and now I'm going to turn them on and see how quickly they boil those 8 ounces. As soon as I turn on the EcoFlow, the fan is going to start up and makes quite a bit of noise and there's just no way around that. So now you can hear the fan noise and you can see that the output has been reduced to 595 watts. The Rock Pals is on now as well and you can tell that it's drawing 304 watts. With a EcoFlow off, you can see that the Rock Pals is pretty quiet. Its fan hasn't gone off. I've set the timer on my phone for three minutes and that's when I'm going to check them. They've only been on for about 45 seconds, but you can see that both of them are heating up pretty quickly. The Laudi 2O kettle is actually at a full boil at two minutes. The Liddy kettle is still going.
At three minutes, the Liddy kettle is pretty close to a boil, but not quite. So this is a good example of understanding the capacity that the power box can put out. Um, even though I only use the kettle for a couple of minutes, it, the total capacity of the unit has gone down to 71%. So it used up 29 or 28% um, percent of its uh, capacity just in those two minutes. The Rock Pals is now using actually a lot less wattage because since the water's hot, it doesn't need to keep it at 300, so it'll go down. And it just beeped, letting us know that it's all done and the water's boiled. And that took a total of five minutes. As soon as it reaches the boiling point, it'll just turn itself off. So it's up to you to decide what your needs are, what you plan to use it for, um, how long you're going to be without having to charge your unit. All of that makes a big I have an inverter in my car, so I just charge both of these while I'm driving. I really like that the EcoFlow lets me use appliances that are higher wattage. Um, Another great thing about the EcoFlow is that it only takes about an hour to charge when it's being charged with house current. The Rockpels takes longer, but the Rockpels can be had for about $200 online right now, and the EcoFlow is about $350. Hope you liked it, and if you have any questions, let me know. And if you're interested in the kettles, both of them are available on Amazon for roughly about $46, $47. Sometimes you can get the Laudy 2.0 for less. Thanks for watching.